Okay, so... Let's... I'm gonna be adding a new little bit of behavior to the um, player's ship. So at the moment you can kind of fly around and it's basically a turn thrust in that direction. Which is how the classic um, thrust and gravitar type controls worked. But I've kind of updated and improved it with the 360 turret which means you no longer have to um, worry about pointing your ship in the direction you want it to go and then uh, firing in that direction and then crashing and then it's gone it's, it's now you can you can maintain a hover maneuver around firing 360 degrees um, but dodging is a problem um, oh I crashed um, you can't strafe now. Strafe, of course, is a basic kind of thing that has been added to games since the 90s. Um, <clears throat> so being able to actually strafe in this game would be quite handy, and that is all kinds of bugs going on there. Um, strafing is something that's been around since the 90s, and it would be kind of at least worth trying out um, strafing in Captain Kale to see if it uh, improves the gameplay at all, um, improves the control of the ship because you need to be able to dodge bullets um, in a way other than, because at the moment you can see there I'm just sitting there and I can kind of like tilt and thrust to the side but um, it's not brilliant, it would be better if I could actually kind of, uh, yeah, strafe. So. I'm going to add that basic um, behavior -y controls to the player object. Now, thrust is achieved on the ship with the physics by, let's see, okay, so I want the keyboard flight controls, which is this little file here. Now at the moment, what that does is it says, okay, if you uh, press W or up, um, then you're thrusting. So it grabs the number of uh, engines, which is set by the um, animation file, because how many engines you put in there, um, which you then can loop through and applies uh, thrust to each engine position in a, on a negative Y. So sort of downwards to make it go upwards. Um, so what I need to do is insert a new script here, which we shall call um, keyboard um, strafe controls. So, um, yeah, if not paused and mouse controls. So, what we're going to do is say if keyboard check. Now you have four to choose from here. Press and release are useful if you only want something to happen once. So like a jump key for instance, you just want to press the jump key um, and then it will apply the jump only when it's pressed because otherwise the act of pressing and releasing the key, the key is going to be down for several steps whereas this, because I want thrust to be applied continuously as long as the key's down, I'm using check. Um, and then I need to use ORD to grab the specific key. I'm going to use Q because that's was the position is nice and close to where the uh, key is. Um, so if the keyboard check Q, um, strafe left. 
Um, and then it should be a simple case of this line here, but a slight variation of that. So physics apply local force x, y, such as should be nicely in the center, and then the x force. Um, So I'm going to be negative or positive, and I think it's negative to go to go left. Um, I better check the total thrust. Yeah. Okay. So I need to um, do that. There's a number of factors that can affect your thrust, and this is essentially um, so. Thrust strength is the thrust strength of the ship. Boost thrust is um, actually no longer used because that was just in that first level that I got rid of. That was a race where you hit a booster and it would increase your thrust. But well, I was going to remove it here because I don't actually need it. And then burner thrust is if you have the um, afterburner equipped, which is not currently. Um, available in the Ceres campaign, that's going to be a feature of the Mars campaign. You can get equipment slots for your ships, and you can assign equipment to them. So if you put an afterburner in your uh, um, equipment slot, then it'll uh, give you a uh, you have a boost button. You can go faster um, to get sort of uh, escape the AI and stuff. Um, Comma zero. So. needs a bracket yeah so that should make you the ship strafe left if I copy that and swap that to an E and remove the minus it should strafe to the right now if I run this Okay, so hopefully if I try one of these levels, let's see what happens if I press E. Whoa, okay. That's not what I wanted to happen. That's not. That is weird. It just spins round and round and. Why, why the. That's just. Why is it doing that? Okay, I'm going to guess at the origin isn't in the center, so. Wee bonk. Wee bonk. Wee bong. Let's take a look back at the. Sprites a sec. Okay. It's pretty much in the center. I mean, that should be. unsure as to why that's doing that. I 
just spinning around? Why are you just spinning around? Well, that's annoying. This, this, this little trivial to add feature. Um, is not so trivial to add. Why don't you work? Well, I'm guessing it's because the XY um, origin of the ship where force being applied um, is not the same as the um, center of the Wajimahooj. Um, it's not the same as the center of the physics thing, so it's off position, which means it's causing it to spin, but it doesn't entirely make any sense. Have to, uh, right. Where can I apply the force that will make it? Okay, let's kill that. So, I need to apply the force somewhere else. Um, instead of X and Y. Um, now, I could try applying to the bounding box, but that, yeah, maybe if I just use the, the engine positions as well, maybe if I just do that and then I suspect that'll turn it as well, but Okay, let's let's do that. Let's just do that and see what happens. Okay, so these arrays hold um These arrays hold the XY positions locally of the engines. Um, according to the animation file, where they're placing the animation file. Um, So that the thruster apply is applied where the engines are, um, instead of just at the centre of the ship. Um, my gut tells me this is still just going to cause it to rotate. It's just going to rotate it differently. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna reduce the amount of thrust by multiplying it by like. 25%, so it's a quarter of the total thrust. Um, wait, what? What? Oops. Okay. I've got the semicolon. Let's run that and see what happens. So, picking a level. And oh, okay. Well, that kind of works, but again, it's yeah, it's tipping. So it's not enough thrust but also it's causing it to rotate.
the idea is right, the execution on the other hand is wrong. What I need to do is... Okay, let's go back to spine. What I need to do is create two separate and a point at the bottom of the ship and a point at the top of the ship is what I need and I need to apply thrust there so okay let's go into setup um, add to the bottom of this bit which is a little bone map bit that just uh, grabs the bone positions of the engines and add um, strafe top x equals strafe top y strafe bottom x Strafe bottom Y. Okay. Now these variables need to be um, if I go to the sprite now thinking about it. The apply local force thing. If we look at the old instructions here, this is relative to the origin. Um, I don't actually need to change the x. The x is always going to be zero. It's only the y that I need to worry about. Can you go up and down depending on the yeah, so, okay, we just, rid of that, rid of that, and that, that's all we really care about, strafe top and strafe bottom, now, somewhere to actually create this as well see I don't want to be manually telling what I can do here is I can look at the sprite when I'm applying this I can look at the, sp the sprite the bounding what stuff like that and calculate using that to calculate the two positions that way I don't have to go into every single ship look at every sprite figure out what the position is and manually set it I want to set it automatically but I need somewhere to do that where the calculation will occur after the sprite has been set so at the moment in this player create um, bit here um, that will only actually, why does that work why does that why is getting turret position here working well, of course because it's as a child the sprite's been set and then before this crate go code gets called. Yeah, so, okay, so, yeah, at this point I can set it based on what the sprite is because it already knows what its sprite is. The sprite's already set by the child. That's fine. Okay. So, um, all that needs to do is figure out what the top. Um, So the, this needs to be the difference between the Y position and the bounding box top. But is it plus or minus? Y minus B box top. 
Y plus B box bottom. Do I have those the right way around? Um, yes, so Y will be, let's say Y is 100, then B box top will be above it. That will be less than it. So if B box top is 90, Y being 100, that will be 10. So strafe top is going to be 10. Um, so we can get rid of that line. Don't need you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Take you back to where you're supposed to be. Um, that can just be zero. And this is strafe top and that's strafe bottom yeah I mean come to think of it it pretty much actually yeah I don't I don't want it to be okay let's show you what, what I'm thinking because this will be easier so here's the is the, the ship now at the moment by using the bounding box let's say the origins here and then I use the bounding box to calculate this position to apply thrust and then this position to apply thrust. Now that should evenly cause thrust to push it in this direction. Um, as long as the thrust is applied anywhere along this axis equal distance apart either side of that origin it should still provide equal thrust going that direction so I don't need to actually figure out the top and bottom of the sprite all I need to do at uh, this point here is use the same number which for the sake of argument shall be 5 um, that should then mean when it gets to here it's doing that which we just got that slid in there take the minus out get rid of that Make that point five. Make something kind of in there. And now I think that's going to work. Let's run it and find out. Right then. Look at this level instead. Okay, so if I press Q, it crashes. Why the hell's that happened? apparently strafe bottom doesn't exist so it says it that obj player wasp dot strafe bottom not set for reading how is that the case Get engine position, strafe top, strafe bottom, bottom. Spelt wrong. That might be why that was work wasn't working then. Um, let's just double check the um, controls to make sure that that is 
Let's drag that up a bit. There we go. Bottom, bottom, yep. A good old fashioned spelling mistake. Okie dokie then. So, in we go. And this time, thrusting up. Are oh, you kidding me? What the hell, man? This makes no sense. Why? Why? a way through uh, there. Okie dokie. Oh. Oh, you... <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that's enough playing around. Why does that not actually do what it's supposed to be doing? What have I got wrong? What have I got wrong? Other than every damn thing. Ding! Donk. Okay, let's kill that and go back to the game maker. So, so, so. And applied to the engines, it worked. When applied, when I used the engine location variables, it worked fine. I mean, this is. I got that top and bottom variable wrong. Is that it? Is that why it's off? Is it? Have I got these wrong? So it's off center. You know, they probably don't. It probably just needs to be minus five there. It doesn't need to have the Y. It's a local. Yeah, it, it, it's the relative position. So it doesn't need to reference Y there. Just needs to go. Yeah. So I Is that where I got it wrong? I think that's where I got it wrong. Definitely looked wrong. Hopefully that's why it's not working properly. Okie dokie. So this time I press strafe and. Hey, look. Whee! It's a little bit of a turn, but. That's strafing. Not sure that was actually helpful, but... play it for a while and actually figure out if this is is a useful skill or it doesn't seem that useful at the moment. It seems kind of counterintuitive and makes the ship harder to fly. Especially as it's Yeah I mean that's just helped me crash. I can kind of like fire and dodge, but I could have done that just by. Okay. Have I just spent the last half hour or so making a new feature that doesn't actually improve the game but makes the handling of the ship worse? Let's try a different level.
Now part of the problem is it's turning the ship, which isn't helpful. Oh. The ship kind of tends to fall because you tend to, I tend to release the thrusting key at the same time as I'm same time as I, uh, thrusting and yeah if I thrust and I strafe at the same time it tends to because of the tilt it tends to uh, so you see something about the tilt which is why is it tilt why is it tilt I'm gonna go with it's because of the problem yeah I reckon I reckon I need to go back to the bounding box idea I reckon that might solve the yeah so if I solve the tilt tilting as it moves issue that might help with the controls issue potentially because look at the way it's just it's just twisting up and it should if you, if you try and thrust along like this it's just the whole thing's rotating so that's got to be fixed um, Okay, yeah, let's try fixing that first and seeing what happens. So, rubbish typing. Let's do y minus b box top. Y minus b box bottom um, so if I go um, so what I think what's happening is the origin is not necessarily in the center whereas um, compared to the center of mass so it was being pushed off center which is why I originally went with the idea of doing um, applying from the top and the bottom because that's gonna equal amount of force on the center of mass um, I think so okay here's the Y position and I need to find that dif difference so that should be y minus b box top should give me that position there so that should be correct let's figure out this position here again it should be y minus b box bottom because that will then give me a negative number which should move it no wait I need this to be the negative number to get up here and then the positive number to be there do I because it's local x and y that so y minus that will give a okay so that's going to be a positive number and that's going to be a negative number okay let's run that and see what happens this mission. So, it's time. Okay. Exact same behaviour. Exact same behaviour. I am going to pop a break point on object player's creation code. Um, wherever the hell I created. Yeah. 
put on there. Um, get myself blown up. Always a challenge. Boom. So now it should. Ding. There we go. Hit that break point. So, self, I just, just, yes, yeah, step through those two, so now they're set, and find them down here, so I have 17 and minus 17, okay, so, That's why it's doing the same thing as minus five and five, because because it's relatively speaking doing exactly the same thing. As long as those two numbers are the same, it doesn't matter what they are, it's applying the equal force and applying it wrong. Why is it applying it wrong? I could just try manually making top minus 10 and seeing what that does because then it will apply but was it applying more force to the top than it is the bottom hmm okay let's kill that um doesn't work. Let's make you ten, because I think. So the the force is somehow being applied. Um, it's being applied in an. I mean, it, if if it was plus or minus nineteen, then the origin is dead center. It's where the origin is, it is dead center because that's why it's given the calculation with the bounding box made it plus and minus 17 because it's dead center of the uh, of the sprite, which of course it is, that's what it's set in the but is the center of mass of the object dead center? In which case, The thing is, this, 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 I'm doing the exact same thing with the thrust. It's it's one either side of the of the center. Um, mind you, I suppose it's a horizontally mirrored object, so the center of mass is straight down the middle, but the center of mass vertically is not straight across the middle. So I need to figure out the center of mass. I think there's a variable for the center of mass. Let's see if there's a hmm. What's that? Yeah, there we go. So the exposition of the center of mass. And the next question is Is that in No oh, right, okay, yeah. By comex. If I use this again, but instead of that I use thy com y instead of y I think that will now calculate the position to apply no 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 What 
do I need to know? What do I need to know? I need to know. I need to know where the center of mass is relative to the origin, which is probably going to be lower here. And once I find that, I can then use that to apply to modify the. Right. Okay. Um, mass diff bar mass diff equals y minus um, phi com y so that's the difference in the y position for the center of mass so this is the amount I then need to offset strength top and bottom by um, yeah So then offset them both by this amount and that should mean that strafe top and strafe bottom are now set relative to the center of mass of the object instead of this, this sprite origin. So it should now apply the force evenly if I've got these two variables the right way around. Um, it's entirely possible that I need to have a plus there and not a y. Or no, these need to be the other way around. So it's by com y minus y. Um, how will I be able to determine if it's working correctly and how, how do I determine which is the correct one? Okay, so y minus center of mass y, assuming center of mass is, because the shape of the ship is bottom heavy, that should, or at least in this ship it is, um, that should give a negative, that will give a negative number. Um, So center of mass. So strength top is minus five. Minus five plus negative. I'm gonna move it to there. Yeah, that'll make it in the right direction. And bottom being five. Plus negative. That will move it. That's going to move them both closer together. That move top to the right place, but it'll move bottom to the wrong place. Uh. I need center of mass to be positive. If the center of mass is positive, then. Yeah, this needs this needs to be the other way around. I think I don't generally math good. I think that will make it maybe work. So this level. Oh, you know what? It's only working. Oh, 
sure. It seems to feel slightly more useful than it was, but. guys are supposed to be invisible when you and they can't see you. It's not working properly. Gotcha. Or not. Let's see how you play. useful. It's kind of useful. I need to test the change I actually recently made, don't I? I recently changed this level. Go away, leave me alone. So that... If I destroy... So I essentially added this hole here and put this power supply in which once I destroy it, should turn off this piston. It did turn off the piston, but it turned it off. Ah, oh, come on. I'm stuck in here. Right, that's a bug. That's a bug. That's a bug. That's a bug that I also need to fix in a minute. Mission failed? Oh, man. Right, so I'm going to leave this, that strafe as it is because it works. Um, I need to play it for a while and actually figure out if it's any good um, in terms of gameplay wise, if it's always it just overly complicating the basic kind of flight. Um, but let's figure out how to fix that bug I was just looking at in that level just now. Um, which level was it? Is it this one? Yeah, it was that one. Okay. So. I'll also need to add the uh, gamepad controls to that, won't I? Um, better do that now actually uh, before I forget so begin step if I duplicate this open up and call it game pad um, now if I look at the So if it's using game pad controls, I need to um, game pad. Um, what is it? Game pad button check. Game pad button check. Um, As a variable, I store the. Uh, is that it? Yeah. Gamepad button check. Gamepad comma. And then the button index is GP. Um, and this is for left, so it would be um, left. Shoulder LB. think and RB let's actually check what it says in the manual um, nope that's the trigger that's the trigger Let's try that okay so 
Uh, another thing I'm going to have to do quick, because that should now work with the gamepad. Another thing I'll have to do quick is actually find the bit where I have the screenshot of movie controls. Because you see that currently uses those two buttons. Now I'm pretty sure I'm not using the pad for anything, so I'm going to switch this to pad um, L and pad R um, yeah and that should that should now next time I run a level I'll check that that works but that should give me strafing on the gamepad so now if I open campaign map room for series and it was one of these two regions which one was it was it this one oops I've just moved it oh, damn it hang on no I don't want to save you try that again right no the object pointing to room that one yep that's the correct room close all of you so um This thing, when it's destroyed, tells this thing turn off this thing. I think what this I need to do is so at the moment this is a TikTok object and it alternates between open and closed. This, whilst it looks like a piston that opens and closes and stuff, is actually a child of a door. Um, so it's literally, this piston is literally just a door being constantly told to open and close. Um, because what's the difference between that and a door? So code-wise, it, it's just different. It's just different graphics, but underneath, it's just a door opening and closing. Um, now when that this um, power gets destroyed it sends an off signal to this which stops this from sending the open and close signal to this so I need this to also then tell this to be open um, and open is alarm 10 So this thing will, when destroyed, handle dying, it triggers alarm 10. So I need to copy this line, copy that object, no wait, I need to copy this line and, and paste it in again. Copy this object, put that in, do the same for this one on the other side, but this one, and now that should mean that when one of these power units is destroyed, it sends a signal to this TikToker to turn itself off and then sends a signal to this door to switch its state to open so if it was in the process of closing when this is turned off it won't close and then not be told to open by this and sit close it again gets told to open by that so that should should now actually work won't know until I run it Dokey. so I believe it was that room. And the strafe is working just fine. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm trying to dodge. Still not sure it's all that useful. Though. Kind of felt useful there. Okay, so if I do that, stop shooting me, you meanie. Now yeah, I have a slight camera problem because the mouse controls are pointing the camera one way. Um, that needs to be fixed. And it's open. Okay, now if I do the same for here. God damn laser beam bastard. Okay, let's move this round a bit further, open that one. Up there, we open, now I'm gonna get destroyed. <sighs> Should have taken a better ship. Should have taken a better ship. A better gun. And that shield robot is really getting on my nerves. I made that theme a bit. Oh, I suppose it's not supposed to be fighting the ship, it's supposed to be fighting the ship. So. Uh, game's too hard. So, okay, let's play it properly. Let's actually go and take out the spawners that are producing all the evil bastards that are killing me. Okay. Oh, missed. There's this. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, the strength does kind of help. Kind of. Semi useful. Those of people practice with it, they might find it useful. Um, I might come back to it and tweak it later. Okay, that's two spawners down. Curse you, shieldy botty things. Okay, let's open it. There is a pathfinding bug there. Where's, where are you going? Oh, that is such a pathfinding bug. Okay. Nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Bit faster. Let's go and take out this thing. That is the uh, strength was a little bit handy there. Might just be a case of strength. Maybe I just need the strength to be stronger.
Okay, you know, I, oh, I'm, well, I'm gonna say that if, if one of them work, then logically the other the other piston must work. Um, so yeah, that was uh, an hour of me attempting to implement what should have been nice and simple strafe, but uh, was in fact a slightly more longer drawn out eventual strafe. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that, and um, yeah, we'll see.